Yo, what is good with y'all? We're back and in this tutorial I'm going to break down how you can create these three roto brush transitions and they're all insane and not too hard to make so follow along and let's get straight into it i want to start off by giving a shout out to my shop lurking visual star store where you can find editing presets for both after effects and premiere pro these transitions are actually from my essential transitions pack which includes over 20 of my favorite transitions that i've been using for years while editing all my client work so the link to all my assets will be in the description but let's get into the first transition what you want to start off by doing is cutting your clip where you want to the transition to be and mine is going to be right here so what you want to do next is grab the road brush tool and double press on your scene and then start masking out our subject so after you masked out your subject and you're happy with how it looks you want to press the freeze button right here And when you've done that, you're done with the masking. And to make it look a little bit more smooth, I wanna add a refined soft matte effect. Then you wanna adjust your additional edge radius and make sure that it looks good with your clip and do the same with the feather and leave the rest of the settings. And then what you wanna do is duplicate your clip and drag it onto the clip before. And my clip before is actually short so what I want to do is cut it right here and then we can remove the rotor brush from the original clip and then you want to press your rotor brush clip and go to time and reverse layer by doing this you line up both of your clips correctly and right now it looks like this to spice this up and make it look good I'm going to press Y on my keyboard to get this pan behind tool and then I'm going to drag the anchor point up to the corner. And then what you want to do is at the end of the clip, add a scale keyframe. And then towards the beginning where the clip start, you want to drag up the scale to make sure that your subject isn't in a frame anymore. Then I'm going to press F9 to ease my keyframes and go to the graph editor. Now in the graph editor, copy my graph and make something like this. And then your scene should look like this and that's smooth for this subject but i want to have my background pop up too with the artist so what i'm going to do is duplicate the next clip and then drag it over and then cut it where it matches and then do the same right click on that clip go to time and reverse time layer and then go to the end and add a scale keyframe and then go halfway through the clip and press this link button to remove the link and then I'm going to drag down the scale. Like this just on the X axis and then I'm going to ease these both of these keyframes. Right now it looks like this and to make it look even better I'm going to add on some motion blur and I'm also going to add a camera lens blur to my subject. To make it look a little bit more realistic when my subject pops up so I'm going to change the blur radius to 25 and then keyframe it throughout the clip and change it to zero at the ending. Now my transition looks like this. And if you're going for a more smooth look, you can stop right here and keep it like this. But I'm going to add a shake to just to give it a little bit more energy because I feel like it's too plain right now. So to make this shake, I'm actually going to use a plugin called Shake Sauce by my boy Brian Delimata. So I got my shake sauce right here and I want to use a keyframe shake and I want to have motion blur on and out of all of these shakes I think I want to use the zoom twist one. So I'm going to press on this and then I'm going to press on this to customize my shake and I just want to bring it down a bit and I want to keep it like this. Yeah I think that looks good for my scene. What you can do now is you can actually save this as your own preset by pressing set center keyframes and then name my preset vertical shake and then it's just saved inside of shake sauce you can actually download this plugin for free with the link in the description you'll get a seven day free trial of shake sauce 2 so make sure to go grab that link in the description but on to the next transition so i've got my next scene right here so i started off by doing the same thing i cut the clip 
and then what you want to do like last time you're gonna use the rotor brush tool and mask out your subject i just finished masking out my subject and now i want to press freeze now once again i'm going to add on a refine soft matte just to give it a little bit more clean look and make the edges more smooth and now like last time i'm going to duplicate this and drag this onto the scene before and time reverse this and i want to add a scale wipe effect to this I'm going to change the direction of the scale wipe to 180 degrees and then you want to grab the center of your scale wipe and drag this down uh, and keyframe this at the ending and then go up to the beginning and drag this all the way up like this until your subject isn't in the frame anymore and I forgot to mention that I have my stretch on 5.7 and what you want to do now is ease these keyframes add on some motion blur and copy my graph like this now my transition looks like this and it's actually way too plain for me so i'm going to duplicate my scene and do the same thing time reverse layer again and make a scale keyframe and go halfway through the clip about right here and unlink the scale and i want to put the y scale to zero basically the same thing we did before just to give the background a transition too this is good for the second transition now on to the next one yo so i just recorded the final part of the effect and forgot to press record so let's do this shit again so what you want to do is start off by masking out your subject and i'll actually cheat and use my masking that i did before so you can start off by masking out your subject and then come back to this part so what you want to do like the last time you want to press time reverse layer and make sure that you reverse it so now that you've done that you want to pre-compose your subject and then i'm going to use the pen tool to mask the area above my subject like this and then you want to press m on your keyboard and invert it and when you've done that you want to go to the end of your clip right here where it cuts and press the stopwatch on the mask expansion to give it a keyframe and go to the beginning and let's drag the mask expansion up until you can't see your subject anymore and then i'll easy ease my keyframes and make a graph like this that is the third and final effect thank you all so much for watching at the time that i'm recording this i'm about to reach 1k subs so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that it helps out the channel a lot thank you all for 1k subscribers in such a short time make sure to check out my shop lurking visual Star store which will be linked in the description where i sell my editing presets and assets that's it for today thank you all so much for watching